So today's Sunday and um, I went out and purchased a few things because it's really rainy outside today. It was such a nice day yesterday and today it's just pouring rain so I can't really do much outside. So what I wanted to do is purchase a couple of things for my nail art and that kind of just stemmed from there. I bought some other things as well. It's very much a mix, so I've got some beauty products, some books, some homewares and some jewellery, which I don't really buy that much jewellery, but when I saw this I thought they're kind of nice, they're kind of different, and I've been watching a lot more jewellery videos on YouTube, and it kind of makes me feel like I should be wearing a little bit more, just to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more colourful, um, and... Yeah, I kind of like some of the stuff that I saw and it was really cheap, so I'm going to show that to you as well. Uh, first I'll start with things that I bought from um, a vintage or an op shop, it's Vinnie's basically. And they are these little glasses here, I bought two of them. And I know you're saying, okay, nail art, I don't get it. But it's for the water marbling. What I'm finding is that I'm using a lot more polish because the bowl that I'm using is quite wide. So when I need a lot of smaller rings to do my patterns, um, I need a lot more drops to make the ring small in the middle. So I've got this which is quite a lot smaller compared to the bowl that I've been using and I figured that as long as I don't tip it over that I could dip my finger in there and it's still going to be deep enough and it's just a little bit slimmer. If not I figured I could always still use them for decorating and that's why I got two just in case. Um, I also purchased two more bowls that are slightly smaller and I actually thought they were really cute they're both the same, they've got like little leaf leaf patterns, leaves on them and, and all of them were a dollar each so altogether the four things came to four dollars so you can't really beat that and you can't complain because that's, that's pretty good um, the next things that I purchased were from Priceline and it's three nail polishes and a lipstick so these ones are from their Luxe Nail Enamel range and this one is Minty Mojito and the next one from their range is this one here and it's called Lemon Sorbet. The next one is another Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. I thought I had this one, other than that I've bought it and I've put it somewhere, um, but it's the orange one so it's called Sunkissed. And the last thing I purchased was a Rimmel lipstick which I've actually been wearing today. And that is in Coral in Gold, number 210. That's that colour there. The next two purchases are actually two books that I bought. So um, it's just a book called Colour Me Beautiful. It's to do with colours and things that suit your colour, colouring. I thought it would be interesting to have a read through it, just see what they say. And um, yeah, so that was 20% off. And the next one is the Green Beauty Guide, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. I mean, it's got a lot of recipes and things like that. And the last part is going to take a little while because I bought eight necklaces. Um, but yeah, it's the jewellery section, which I was going to do as a separate video, but I figured I'd just throw it all together. So I went to a store called Equip. So yeah, when I was buying these necklaces, I put them on that counter and somehow they managed to tangle themselves up, even though I'd had them all untangled and just kind of placed them there, they just decided that they wanted to be annoying and tangle themselves. So this is what I ended up getting. The first necklace is kind of just like a, a dulled silver necklace with a lot of different charms, so a mix between like um, plastic or glass and diamantes, things like that. So I'll show you guys what it looks like up close. So it's just got like little flower pendants, little filigree kind of pattern things, I think that's what it's called, little crystal, um, mock crystal, a little dangly bit right at the bottom there, and then some more charms. And I thought that was really pretty, just the colouring of it, I thought that would be really nice. I kind of like the noise that it makes as well, but that was $5, and it was originally $22.99, so that's a pretty big saving there. The next one I purchased is kind of a little bit more boho, I guess. Um, it's got wooden and plastic beads, 
So you've got the reds and teals and browns and you've got clear and then some gold charms and just a gold chain that runs through it. And that was again, that was five bucks and that was down from twenty dollars. It's really quite long. So you could double this up if you wanted to and have it shorter or you could just you know leave it long. But I thought that was really nice and I do wear a lot of teal so that would go with it and there's also other necklaces in here that you can kind of wear together and layer them up and I thought that would look really pretty as well. After that another teal and gold. This one's really simple but I think it was just really pretty and delicate. It's kind of like a more aqua teal and then these little tiny gold um, little circle plates around it. The next one I purchased definitely for layering because there's the, the one after this one that I'll show you goes well with it. This again five dollars down from fifteen and it's just um, kind of like a muted gold chain with um, brushed gold and polished gold beads and a couple of kind of like crystally things, amber and brown crystals. And again, it's really long. Um, but I think it goes really well with the next necklace, which is similar with the chain. Very similar colorings, but this one, instead of going down the browns, it's got the green. So it's got green leaves and green crystals and little gold plates on it. So that's what that one looks like. That one was five dollars and it was down from seventeen dollars. The next one I bought to go on its own, it's five dollars and it's down from twenty three dollars. Again it's like a muted silver chain, it's a long one. But this one I thought was really interesting and would look really nice by itself with just like a black tank top. Um, even though it's coming into winter, maybe a cardigan or something like that. Black cardi. It's got like a heart pendant, quite large pendant, a little tassel chain, and down the bottom it kind of dangles with a silver plate, a little silver pendant, and some pinky, almost musk coloured plastic gems, and then a silver one, oh clear in the middle. Um, this one I thought was really cute and would work well with others in layering or by itself because it's quite quirky. Now I'm not a massive fan or anything of obsessed of owls but I thought this one looked really nice. Now this was five dollars and it was down from 13. It's just a really simple gold chain with little owls along there. So different shapes, a couple big ones, a couple of small ones. And the last necklace, I was tempted to get two of these because I thought it looked nice together, but when I held them up next to each other it didn't work as well as I thought it would. But this one worked really well with the owl necklace, I thought that was cute. So this one was down from $17 and it was $5 again like all of them. But this one's kind of like an antiqued gold colour as well. And it's got the greens and the golds, so sort of like a brownie greeny gold. So it's just got the little plastic crystal things and but yeah, so that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um that's really it for now. I'm going to try to film my makeup setup for you guys. I don't think the lighting's actually too bad, so I'm gonna to try to do that with natural light. Um, but yeah, that's all for the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. I'm more than happy to have you do that. And I will see you all again soon. Mwah! <laughs>